right, at this time I'm going to call on your faith and the executive director of the Dallas Cross and Recreation to come forward and uh, he'll introduce his gift. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Council, City Manager. I appreciate you all allowing me the opportunity to come before you um, tonight. We have a couple of distinguished guests um, with our statewide parks and recreation, the Georgia Recreation and Parks Association. We have our president of the association, uh, Randy Spooks Bobby from Dublin, Lawrence County. He's here tonight. And the executive director of the, of the Georgia Recreation Park Association, Mr. Steve Carr, is here tonight. And uh, Mr. Carr will be going into a little more detail. We're here to honor um, Councilman Gibbs as the Georgia Recreation Park Association Volunteer of the Year Award for all of his work dating back many years in 2007, starting the Miracle League. Um, as you all know, that facility is where it is now. It will be open in, in March, and he's also on the Parks and Recreation Authority Board. He's been there for several years and is doing a lot of great work, and along with the City Council and the many other things that he's involved with. It's been, a, it's been hard to try to keep this a secret uh, for some time, but we were able to, to do this. I told Councilman Gibbs a few minutes ago, he was looking at Spook's pen over there, and GRPA, I guess he's here to give us an update on the GRPA and the Georgia Municipal Association. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 you know, each year at the GMA, um, we're there, so, but, you know, if he has his pen here, I'll turn it over to Steve Carr. Thank you all for allowing us to be here. Again, I want to reiterate that. Thanks for the opportunity to allow us to come. As he mentioned, the Georgia Recreation and Park Association is the advocacy group for all of the recreation and parks across the state. Not only from the legislative level, but also from the continuing education level, through workshops, seminars, conferences. We spend a lot of time at GMA and we actually teach sessions there. And something that may interest y'all a lot is last this past year, 2018, uh, along with some partners, we gave out almost $2 million in funding to local parks and rec departments across the state. So I have that unique opportunity to travel across the state and see what's happening in the local communities and the great things that are going on. I can tell you over this past year, I've got several calls from George. I've been down to Valdosta probably three or four times for ribbon cuttings and groundbreakings, and it's been great to see what's going on. So as we talk about that, we talk about the impact that it makes in communities. One of the great things that I know you're probably sitting in the chair that you are, and I know Councilman Gibbs is, is two things that each council person wants. And that's loyalty and passion within their community. Loyalty is the willingness to recommend your community to others. So when you have all these fine citizens that go visit folks in Minnesota and Ohio, and they ask where they're from, you don't want them to say, oh, we're about three hours south of Atlanta. Oh, we're just up from Tallahassee. You want them to be proud that they're from Valdosta. Passion is the pride they take in their place. A reason why you're sitting in that seat. You are proud and you are loyal to your community and that's something you want to foster. In doing that, the best way to do that is through groups of volunteers. Doesn't matter if it's Kiwanis, doesn't matter what group it is, volunteers are absolutely critical to making any community Passionate and loyal. And a volunteer, real quickly, is described in Webster as a person who helps an organization and doesn't get paid. Well, I can tell you with Councilman Gibbs, after talking to a lot of the staff, he may not get a lot of Benjamins, he may not get a lot of Washingtons for all his volunteer work, but I can tell you that if he's counting the thank yous, the hugs, and the appreciation for what he and, that, and his entire group has done, that that man is a millionaire over and over. And I think a lot of you understand that truth. So he's one that certainly has broken down barriers within this community. You know, it's interesting to have such an individual who many years ago saw something on TV. It piqued his interest about a program about kids for disabilities. He didn't sit on the sidelines. He made a couple phone calls. When he made a couple phone calls to the National Miracle League, well, why can't we do that here in Valdosta? Well, guess what? It wasn't a whole lot, a whole lot longer to, again, and I'm sure you'd be the first to sit here and say there was a lot of people involved, which there were, 
but took the bull by the horns, and now there's a group, now obviously there's a miracle league of Valdosta. So when they started talking about money, as George said, they knew it was going to be a big expense. Y'all have a wonderful $5 million addition that, that, kids, that kids in your community are fixing to play on. Well, this Miracle League of Valdosta, not quite, but almost $2 million of it were raised by what they were able to do. So this is, a, this is an individual who is, is one that goes out and he rallies the troops with a lot of other people and, and brings that to the table. I can tell you that it's people like him and other people in your in your community that we are proud to be able to have part of parks and recreation departments across the state that come out and continue to have that pride and that loyalty. And for that reason and many others, again, I, I, I also applaud Councilman Gibbs, who, you know, after many years in a private business, felt a calling to go into serving others in the education. And so, obviously, as a, as a school teacher, and also in the highly charged age group of middle school kids at that, so I applaud you for that, as I have a middle schooler, so I know what, what that can be as well. He goes into that calling and doing that. And during this process, has had his hand in the design each and every way to make sure that Valdosta has a state-of-the-art, one-of-a-kind facility, not just, and most importantly for your community, but the entire region to come in and where kids with disabilities can be able to have a place that they can call their own and that they can enjoy each and every day. And that really, really is something special. And we, as a state organization, we are proud, we are humbled to be able to come and offer you our highest honor to anybody that's not employed as a volunteer, the Georgia Recreation and Park Association Volunteer of the Year. Congratulations. Didn't you get George Page in there? And this, he, didn't he do this? No problem. Thank <laughs> you. 